Grind gang, what up? So I got something uh, special for y'all today. Um, I gotta sweep out this trailer because the load that I'm going to, they pretty much require for the trailer to be full grade. So in order to make sure that that happens, of course you can't have like no, no degree, you know, anything like that in your trailer. Whether you're driving a box truck, you're going to semi, like this may be a requirement for you. Um, what, and that's one of the things that I always hated about trucking. Like whenever I would get a full grade load, because you have to do, do a sweep out or go do a trailer wash out. So with this, I do have a solution because I don't, I'm not gonna go back there sweeping with no brush, especially not today. I think it's like over 100 degrees. Yeah, it's currently 101. So I'm definitely not gonna be in the back of this trailer for too long, but I wanna show y'all the thing that will prevent you from having to sweep out a trailer, whether you're doing a 53 foot trailer or you're doing a 26 foot box truck. This thing is a lifesaver. So I'm gonna leave y'all in the trailer. So, I'm back here in the back of the trailer. It is hot as shit back here. So, as you can see, it's pretty much like, it ain't too bad in this trailer, but it is like a little debris that's on the floor and stuff like that. And some of them loads that require you to have full grade containers, like they don't want to see none of that on the floor, especially stuff like this. Like, that look like scrap metal or some shit like that. She gotta be full grain. But um, so the thing that I recommend you to get is this little puppy right here. Get you an electric leaf blower. This one I had already had like some time ago, um, just for work at the house. To you know, blow <clears throat> blow debris out the driveway and stuff like that. Once I got my truck, I started using it in a trailer and it works like a charm. It ain't gotta be a black and decker, it could be from any brand, but get you an electric leaf blower. And this thing works wonders. What would normally take you 15, 20 minutes probably just to properly sweep out a trailer. This thing you can get done in five minutes max. What I would also recommend too, have, have your, your glasses, some safety glasses, because once you start blowing it, some of that dust can kick up, you don't want it to get in your eyes. And if you got a face mask, I would recommend putting that on so you don't breathe in and other particles and stuff like that too. But yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this boy swept out and see y'all in a minute. See, I'm probably working up a little sweat right now. I didn't swept out the trailers. You can, I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's a little dust up in the air. But I didn't went over it like three times. I typically go over it like two or three times and that'll get all of the debris out of there. But this is a trailer that I never had before. This was actually a power only load. So this is not a trailer that I've ever used before. So it was debris in there, but if it's your trailer, you own your own trailer or your own box truck, you can, after every load, like if you pick up a load, you know that more or less, you pick up a load and it, and it leaves some debris in your trailer, immediately get your blower, blow it out, keep your trailer clean at all times. And that way you don't have to run into this type of problem where you gotta you know, do it on a consistent basis. So I'm gonna hop out of here and I'll see y'all in the cab. Man. So that's how you sweep out a trailer. I'm actually uh, just just closed up my doors and everything. Then to head over to this next pickup, I actually got about two hours before my appointment time is. And um, hopefully, like I'll, I'll see if they can if they can load me early. If they can, that's fine. If not, then I'll just chill out. Probably give me something to eat or take a nap. You know why they load me, but yeah, I, I couldn't even imagine doing that with a push bro. That whole 53 foot trailer, I went and swept that thing down three times 
with in the less than the amount of time it would have taken me to sweep that whole trailer one time with a broom and it still wouldn't have got up as much of that debris as I just got up right now. So um just wanted to leave y'all with that. If y'all like this video, you know, definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Let me know if you use this already and it's something that you do, go ahead and comment down below. Let us know. If you don't and you found this valuable, you can bait me in the comments. You know, but for sure hit that like button, subscribe, because it helps the YouTube algorithm. And it helps other people find these types of videos and allows me to be able to help more people. Because that's all it's about. Giving people a game that it took myself years and years of doing this to figure out how to do it, to help this 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 job become less stressful. Because you got enough stresses, you know, just driving. On top of, you know, all of the nonsense that's go, that goes on on the highway, people cutting you off. And then, you know, if you're an independent contractor or a carrier, uh, these brokers, or even if you're a company driver, you know, sometimes you might be dealing with some nonsense from, with, your, with your dispatcher or your, or your uh, um, ma uh, manager. So this could help eliminate a little bit of stress, make your job a little bit easier than... I feel like it's mission accomplished. So with that, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, join the grind gang, and I love having y'all in the family. And until then, see y'all in the next one. I'm out.